What's up everyone? It's me Wildest Gameplay and I have here for you some transfer information. Uh I'm gonna just round up a few of them, especially in the last week or so towards the end of the transfer window. I didn't want to do it a lot at the start because there's not much going on and apparently it's supposed to intensify now. So here's where I'm gonna start my little section on transfers. And basically Newcastle have started their hunt well, carried on their hunt for a new striker since Denver moved to Chelsea and they've identified Danny Graham from Swansea as a good target which is fair enough he's a proven striker in the Premier League he can do do a job he's played consistently at a top level and apparently there's some interest from Sunderland for him but I see him more going I see him actually staying at Swansea actually I don't see him moving away but if he does it will probably be to Newcastle in my opinion um, also, they are chasing Johan Gufran, who is a striker, a French striker, and he is. He used to be a really good talent when he was younger. He played really well for under twenty ones, and right now he's kind of getting on. But he's experienced, he's proven, and it looks like a short term solution to their striker problem. Even though they've still got Papi Cisse, uh, so they might be going for him. And apparently, he's highly rated by Arsenal, which says which says something about him remains to be seen what goes on with that transfer uh, also Olympic Lyon the French team are looking to offload quite a few of their players in fact Tr something about a new policy with new transfer policy uh, bringing in new new faces a, basically a new kind of setup and they're going to be looking to get rid of Gork no not Gorkouf Lissandro Lopez and also Michel Bastos both great players have had them on FIFA seen them play on TV. Uh, Lisandro Lopez is Argentinian, really good at headering, good strong on the ball and Michel Bastos is Brazilian, good set pieces and yeah it seems like they're trying to bring in some new talent but to do that they have to offload the current players they have. Also they apparently Johan Gorkouf is available to be bought apparently in the summer. I'm hearing about the summer but uh, Arsenal may actually come in and try to loan him out until uh, basically the summer when Lyon will decide who he goes to. He's been a good player, you know, he hasn't really performed internationally, he struggled with form and fitness for the club, but uh, he's always going to be a potential target, depending on how much his wages are, of course. That is with Arsenal. With Zaha, Wilfred Zaha, uh, there's apparently in some sources United have agreed a deal but on Sky Sports it's saying that categorically not they have, no Crystal Palace have said there's been no deal struck thus far and Zaha isn't going anywhere for the time being that remains to be seen because anything can happen and it's just hearsay it's just a club uh, announcing it it doesn't mean it can't happen in the immediate future which is the next week or so um, the goalkeeper called Kautuis Kautuis who plays for Atletico Madrid uh, is rumored to be in have interest from Barcelona amid since uh, Victor Valdez has said to he wants to leave he wants to leave the Barcelona stadium. It's a shame, really. All these memes I keep seeing about about um, Valdez being shit. He's not that bad, let's be honest. But he's just not not what Barcelona need. But yes, Atletico Madrid target has been identified. Even though his father's come out and said. Nope, no interest from Barcelona. Nope, none of that shit. Don't know why he would come out and say that. To be honest, he's got doesn't need to have any input in the thing. And if anything, it's just going to intensify it because you want to transfer to Barcelona regardless of who you are. Fuck that. I want to transfer to Barcelona. So forget what that father's saying. Uh, next, Tom Rodgick has actually passed his uh his work permit. He's an Australian striker who's due to join Celtic, and apparently he's meant to be really, really good. So Celtic have finally got him to come. That's Tom Rogic, R O G I C. So look forward to seeing him play some football. And then finally, the last bit of news I have here is that Wesley Schneider, the one you've all been waiting for, has agreed and has passed or is undergoing a medical at Galatasaray. Now. I genuinely don't understand why he wasn't snapped up by any Premier League clubs prior to this season. He's great. 
he was originally at well as far as my memory serves he was at Real Madrid he transferred to Inter Milan for 15 million euros 15 million euros I mean his wages must be pretty high but 15 million euros to Inter Milan back in 2009 and since then he's won the Champions League uh, the Italian League and probably some other cup trophies in that time he got to the final of the World Cup got to the I believe the quarterfinals or maybe the might have been the last 16 uh, with Netherlands in the Euro 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 the European Championships just recently gone so he's an exceptional player he's an exceptional player and I don't know why he's not uh, gone to opt for the Premier League it's an attractive attractive place in my opinion but yeah that stops any suspicion of him going to Liverpool United all these places he's going Galatasaray and if he ends up not going then you can shoot me because I'm pretty sure he's going there so yeah 10 million euros as well pretty cheap but his wages are going to be something stupid which you all know um, this has been the transfer news for now the day is not over if a lot of stuff changed then I'll release another video And but for now this is all I'm doing until tomorrow it's been me Wildest don't forget to click that subscribe button wherever it is in the page and uh, stay tuned for some more but in the meantime, I'm out.